Hello friends, welcome to MSFT webcast. In this video, I will show you how to install the Windows Server Pack feature in Windows Server 2016 with PowerShell and then how we can configure basic server backups. We will also take a quick look at how the backup files and folders stored on Windows Server 2016. In order to perform simple backup and restores out of the box, Windows Server 2016 provides the Windows Server Backup feature. While this does work, it is fairly basic and lacks many useful features. If you have many critical servers to backup, I highly recommend that you look at something else such as Microsoft's Data Protection Manager or a third-party backup solution from some other vendors. An example of this is that when you backup over network to an external share with Windows Server Backup feature, you can only store one restore point at a time. Any further backups will overwrite existing ones which isn't very useful if you actually need some sort of retention. The backups are also managed on a per server basis which makes them difficult to maintain and manage. Before we can actually configure the backups, we must first install the Windows Server Backup feature. This can be done through the graphical user interface. However, it's just faster to simply use PowerShell. So let's open Windows PowerShell. At Windows PowerShell, we have to use command get windows feature and then I'm going to type name star backup star. Let's press enter key. Okay, as we can see, Windows Server Backup is available for install, but not currently installed. So let's run command install hyphen windows feature hyphen name and the name you have to specify is windows hyphen server hyphen backup hyphen includes management tools. Let's press enter key. Okay, as you can see, the installation process completes successfully and no reboot is required for this feature. Let's confirm that. Okay, as you can see, a Windows Server Backup feature has been successfully installed on this server. Now that we have installed the Windows Server Backup feature, we can begin to configure our server backup. To begin, we are going to open the Windows Server Backup console and to do that, start button and then I'm going to click on Server Manager. On Server Manager Console, click on Tools and select Windows Server Backup. That will open WB Admin Console. Okay, this is the Windows Server Backup Console. And uh, now let's click on Local Backup. We will see that there is a warning, nothing that no backup has been configured for this computer, which is currently expected. We can either configure a backup schedule, which will perform the backup as we define or we can perform a once-off backup. For this demonstration, I'm going to select Backup Once Options. Let's click on it. Now here, we have a total two options. The first option is gray out because that option will only available when you select Backup Schedule. But for this demonstration, we are going for a backup once. That's why we will select the second box. Now let's click on Next button. On this console, choose whether to backup all data or perform a custom backup, which allows you to define only certain files to backup. I like to backup all the data for the most part, so we are going to go with the full server and then I'm going to click on next button. Next, we will be asked to specify the destination of our backup data. The recommended option is to store the data on a separate disk that is attached to the server. However, we can also change this backup to another volume or a network share. For this demonstration, I'm going to select a remote share folder. Now let's click on next button. And here we have to specify the location of our network share. And that will be UNC path 192.168.49.120. And then there will be a backup store folder. Okay. Now here we have a total two options. For access control, first one is do not inherit. These options makes the backup accessible only for the user whose credentials are provided in the next step. 
and the second one is inherit. These options makes the backup accessible to everybody who has access to the specified remote share folder. Now I'm going to use do not inherit options and then I'm going to click on next. It will ask us to specify the credential. Now for this demonstration, I'm going to give credential administrator and then the password. Click on OK button. Finally, we are presented with a confirmation screen which will summarize our options. Click on a backup button to complete the process and accept this or otherwise go back and make any changes as needed. The summary notes that the, we are performing a full backup we will be able to perform bare metal recovery of ENDA system which is fairly powerful. Now let's click on backup to start the backup process. The backup process will take some time to complete and once the process is complete you have successfully completed the backup process. Okay as you can see the backup has been completed successfully now let's click on close to close this console. Okay, here we can also see the message backup has been completed successfully. Let's uh, click on view details. The backup type is system reserve local disk and uh, backup target is this location and the share folder name is backup store. Let's click on OK. So this is the way how you can take a backup of your Windows Server 2016 computer using Windows Server backup feature. That's it for this video demonstration. Thank you all for watching this video.